Hello everyone, today I've been given the opportunity to preview four cards of the upcoming Historic Anthology expansion, so this video is considered sponsored by Wizards. So let's jump right into it here and see if you can guess the first card. It's a Red Goblin for 2 and a red, first featured in the Legions expansion as an uncommon. It's a 2-1 and it's the only goblin ever printed with cycling for 1 and a red and when we cycle this card we get to deal X damage to target creature where X is the number of goblins on the battlefield. His name rhymes with a lip balm refrigerator. It's none other than a gem palm incinerator. Definitely gonna make for a nice addition in any goblin tribal decks. Next up we have a black zombie for 5 and a black. Also first featured in the legions expansion but this time as a common. It's a 4-3, it also cycles for double black, and when we cycle this card, we may have target player lose life equal to the number of zombies on the battlefield. Rhymes with Embalm Recruiter, it's none other than a Gem Palm Polluter. So this is also going to make for a nice addition in any zombie tribal decks. Our next card is a green Boar Beast for 5 and double green, first featured in the Onslaught expansion as a common. It's a 6-5, and what do you know, it also cycles for 2 and a green, and when we cycle this card, we may search our library for a basic land card and put it into our hand, featuring art from the legendary Cav Walker, rhymes with Frozen Busker, it's none other than Crozen Tusker. Unlike the Gem Palms, this may not immediately find a home, but still a nice value card to have access to. And then last but not least, we have a Red Enchantment for 1 and a red, first featured in Modern Horizons as a rare, and I don't believe it, it also cycles for 2 mana, what a coincidence. And then each land card in our hand has cycling for 1 red mana, rhymes with Platonic Complication, it's Tectonic Reformation, cannot wait to try this out in a Gitrog Monster deck. So all four of these cards will be part of the third Historic Anthology expansion releasing on May 21st, and I've definitely had a lot of fun with the previous Historic Anthology expansion so far. Definitely look forward to picking these up as well. So that's gonna be it for me today. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.